Christine Heron's parents have lived the nightmare. A daughter who went missing, investigations that came up empty, finally a cold case. No resolutions for the haunting questions until suddenly a surprising twist in the story. Tonight, filmmaker David Ridgen, who first documented it on The National, brings us up to date. And a family hopes to finally learn the answer to the question that's been burning for 20 years. What happened to Christine? On May 18, 1993, Christine Heron of Hanover, Ontario, went to school and disappeared forever. And then she left to go to school. She walked down the other side of the street and around the corner. And that was the last I've seen of her. It left a family desperate for answers and a community that never knew what happened. But Christine, or Chrissy as she was known, has never been forgotten. She loved kids. Yeah, she loved her books. Real book worm. Loved going for walks into creeks, catching frogs and what have you. I did know before the night was over she was dead, though. Eleven years after Christine disappeared and after extensive police investigations came up empty, a man who was never a suspect in the case, named Anthony Edward Ringel, according to documents from 2005, came forward and confessed to killing her. But the OPP made elementary mistakes in dealing with Ringel, and important evidence against him was deemed inadmissible by the judge. And in October 2006, the case was stayed against Ringel by the prosecution. He was 90% sure Ringel was going to be convicted. I've got more anger towards the OPP and the town cops than I do Ringel. And a year later, after no new evidence was brought forward by police, Ringel was discharged. Four and a half years after that, in May 2012, the CBC broadcast a documentary about the Heron case with Christine's mother and stepfather, outlining for the first time details, including the botched police investigation and featuring the only public interview with Ringel about the case. Hi, how are you? Are you Anthony? Yep. I wanted to ask you about uh, your confession regarding the murder of Christine Heron in August 2004. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Why you, why you confessed to that murder? No? I can't answer that question. Then, last week, about nine months after CBC's broadcast, Anthony Ringel was re-arrested for the first-degree murder of Christine Heron, with police saying they now have fresh evidence in their possession. And the next day, Christine's mother and stepdad headed up to Walkerton, Ontario for a press conference called by the OPP. We weren't sure what was going on, but it was quite a surprise, a good surprise. Um, Anthony Ringel has been charged again with the murder of my daughter, Chrissy Heron. Um, I was notified last night by the detective. I asked uh, if uh, what the new evidence was, and she couldn't tell me. She said she wasn't allowed to, and I asked then, did they find my daughter's body? And she said no, but they would be looking for her again. It makes me feel good that I participated and had the documentary out there. I feel a lot of good's coming out of this now, and, and that uh, hopefully this nightmare can finally come to an end. Chrissy's family gathers at the Walkerton OPP station and heads in to the press conference. I'm here today to announce that we have arrested and charged a person for the murder of Christine Heron. Last night, we arrested and charged 44-year-old Anthony Edward Ringel with first-degree murder. He will appear today in Walkerton court to answer to the charge. There is no happy ending to this investigation for Marianne Rusmer. Christine's mom. Um, I asked her why she couldn't say anything more she, than what she did. They're trying to be very careful this time that uh, no evidence will get thrown out or nothing will happen and they'll get a conviction. Anthony Ringel's first appearance in court was short. Ringel appeared in a tracksuit, hair unwashed, staring straight ahead 
with a focused, serious gaze. A publication ban is put in place and bail hearings via video are to follow. And then the family waits to see what will happen this time. Um, Chrissy's Aunt Shirley. I just, just hope that they have, they have the evidence the right way this time. This is actually the, uh, the only time they've ever, ever had a conference about it. The, in the last 20 years, even when it happened, they've never had a police conference or, or whatever, saying anything about uh, what's, what they're actually doing and what's happening. So I think they're actually taking it a little more serious now. And Chrissy's brother, Sean, who has never spoken to the media before today. When I saw uh, Anthony today, um, it brought back a lot of memories uh, from years back and made me very angry and frustrated. Um, I'm Chrissy's cousin. Um, I really never got to meet my cousin because of what's happened and he, he just kept staring forward and looked like he had like a lot of shame. The search for Christine's remains will now likely start up again, possibly close to this Hanover Park, one of her favorite places. For The National, I'm David Ridgen in Hanover, Ontario.